my ninjas! I am here with Chad and in his video, we set up an invisible fence that has a magnetic field all around our safe house to protect ourselves from Project Zorgo members. Let me show you what that looks like right here. So here is where one starts. There's an invisible fence that I buried underneath here. It goes all the way through here. If a Project Zorgo member ever comes to the safe house, they cross this path, they will get zapped. But they have to be wearing the special watch. That's what's gonna zap them. Yes, so inside this wa watch, inside this watch, we actually put in a chip device in here that will activate the magnetic field whenever someone crosses it. This watch here. Wait, V, why don't you just uh, put the watch on and demonstrate for no, them? I don't I, want to. On my video, I tried it, so you should try it. So put that watch uh, on and cross this fence and show these guys how oh it works. Man, I'm gonna get zapped, you guys. <laughs> uh, okay, fine. For you guys, if you guys want me to cross this line and get zapped, give this video a big thumbs up right now. Put that watch on, V. Everyone's um, giving it a thumbs up. But like, they my wrist to... is so small. See, look, oh, I can't. Excuses, I, excuses. I, I... It'll work. There we go. Apple Watch is on. Okay, V. You're gonna cross this line right here. You're pretending to be Project Zorgo. Show, show them you got the watch on. You can do it. You can do it. Yes, I did it! I did it! No, put your arm through, put your arm through, through. Oh. You gotta bring your whole body through. Okay, okay. You can do it, V. You can okay. do it. Alright. Uh, okay. Ah! Ah! Chad! Oh my gosh! I didn't touch yes. you! I didn't I touch didn't. you! How did it feel? It felt like a little sting, you know, like it was kind of shocking. Like if I didn't expect that, I definitely would not cross. It didn't like like injured me, but it definitely shocked me. Like I don't want to, I don't want to go past this point anymore. Perfect. The wire is actually buried underneath. The flags aren't want to electrocute you. It's the wire underneath the flag, so we don't need the flag. And the wire is buried all around the entire house. So no matter where they go, whether it's here, over there, if they try to get to the house, it's gonna shock them. Now the trick B though is how are we gonna get Project Zorgo members to wear this watch. Well, I feel like enable to trap a Project Zorgo member, we gotta think like a Project Zorgo member. So what do they always do to us? They always like make us play all these weird games and trick us. True, they're always leaving like riddles and clues and weird things. Yeah, we gotta pretend like we are a Project Zorgo member leaving clues or hints or notes to another Project Zorgo member. Okay, okay, yeah. that'll fool them, yeah, for sure. We'll turn the table around this time. We will send them to a scavenger hunt. I think that'll work and it'll lead right to this watch and they'll be like, oh, my boss just wants me to wear this watch. That's what yeah. it is. All right, guys, we got all the supplies we need to trap a Project Zorgo member. Mm -hmm. We have the best thing there is, a decoder wheel. Oh, this yeah. is pretty much their language. We made a bunch for you guys too, so if you guys want your own, there's a link down below to click. You can get these for yourself and help us solve all these riddles. And they always write their clues and riddles in like random notes. So That's I got, true. yeah, I gathered that. Colorful. And they always write in red, so here is a red permanent marker. Okay. I also got this treasure chest here that I took from the laboratory. Mm -hmm. You know, I think yep. this would definitely fall for this right here. Did what? you hear that? What it's an that? alert that someone's at our front door. Let's see who it is. Let's look at the security camera footage. Okay. Dude, it's a hacker. He's at our front door. But we set up a trap. V had a really cool gadget. V put a gadget over the door that tricks the hacker into thinking we're home. When he looks through the hole, he sees me and V. Even though we're not even inside the house right now. Yeah, it's actually called the VID, the visual imitation device. So right now, the hacker is actually at... Wait, he, he thinks we're inside of our house. Yeah. And so he ran off. So it totally worked. We should, we should follow him. And so we can set these up for him. Let's go. Follow. There he is. Oh, that was bushes. Okay, he's over there. There he is. <gasps> okay. He's like sneaking he around. He's running. No, let's follow him. He's putting something behind the bushes. Oh, he's hiding too. Let's just see, let's let's see if he puts something there. Ready, Spy Ninja? Go. go. Did, he put, did he put something here? Do you see any clues? Or what did he leave behind? If you see something, guys, leave a comment. I don't see anything. Where'd he go? Do you see him anywhere? 
guys, do you guys even recognize this place? The hackers are always hanging out here. This is where we should leave all the clues. Definitely. So let's just leave a bunch of clues here. Okay, let's go. Okay, here's the gate. <gasps> oh, it's a lost dog. Oh, man. If any of you ninjas see this dog, let us know. Okay, V, how, how are we gonna set this up? I, I feel like we need like a really good plan yeah. because Project Zargle is never like black and white. They never make things easy for us. That's like, true, anyways, that's true. They always talk in riddles. Well, they always like use very formal language. Yeah. They say like lavatory. Instead of bathroom, yeah. yeah. And then instead of saying left or right, they say east and west. You know, they're very <clears throat> fancy. Remember when they had us do that one thing? They're like, take 12 steps north and then 20 steps east. Yeah. Maybe we could do something similar to that. I think so. Yeah, that's a good idea, Chad. Okay. And we should decode it using our decoder. All right, guys, so we got the decipher wheel here. Now, key equals R. Where is that key at? We got to spin this until the key equals R, just like that. Now we're ready to use the Project Circle language. All right. What do you want to do, V? Okay, let's say like 27 steps north. Okay, so you write 27 steps. I'm going to find where the N is on here. So the N is a coffee cup. So let's do 27 steps coffee cup. Awesome. All right, um, how about 11 steps west? Okay, now we gotta find the W on here. So the W is an up arrow, V. Okay, now this is kind of tricky because up, like if you do not know the Project Zorgo language, you would just think north. But then up is actually west, west. this time. Yes. So very tricky. So now we need to put this note somewhere where that Project Zorgo member is gonna find this, okay? I think a good place for this is under the bridge. They always have it in like in really creepy, scary places. So let's do that. Let's go. Okay guys, we're at the bridge here. So I'm gonna put this note right in here, like that. Now, we need to walk this off 27 steps north, 11 steps west, and leave our next clue for the Project Circle member. Here, come, here he comes right now. Okay, guys, okay. Okay, right. okay, okay, so we need to walk it 27 north, ready? Okay. One, two, three, four, 26, 27. Okay, B, now we gotta go west. Okay. 11 steps. This way. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, right here in these bushes, V. Okay. Is, we gotta leave our next clue here. All right. Okay, there he is. He's coming. He's checking all over the place. He's looking for something. Okay, that's where we put our clue. It was right inside this bridge here. I hope he finds it. Did he find it? He did. Okay. He's walking it off, okay. I'm gonna go over here. We gotta hurry before he gets to our place, Chad. Okay. This is where we're gonna put the safe, and inside the safe we're gonna put coordinates to where he needs to find the Apple Watch. Awesome. Okay, so here's the three digit code. So I'm gonna set it. So I'm gonna set the code to 518. Oh. Chad, can you use the decoder? Five is a cassette tape or a VHS tape, can't really tell. One is a anger symbol. And then the number eight is a triangle with an exclamation mark. Scary. We're gonna leave this combination just on top of the safe. Inside the safe, let's put coordinates where he's gonna find the Apple Watch. 23 degrees north and 37 degrees south. Throw that inside the safe. We're gonna lock it up. When he finds this, hopefully he knows the Project Zorgo secret language and can get in here. In between the bushes, where they usually like to hide. And now we're gonna go to the location of those coordinates I just read you, so follow me. Okay, this is where the coordinates lead. I chose this trash can right here because Project Zargo often hides things inside of trash cans. I thought this would be perfect and believable. And you like trash cans because I don't like digging in it. So you're gonna be leaving the stuff in here, right? Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. So why don't, you're gonna write a clue down, yeah, right? Yeah, I am. You essentially, if he's gonna write a note right now that tricks the hacker into wearing the Apple Watch and tricks him into going into our house. So what real did you write there, V? I wrote down, Chad and V are gone, but not for long. Wear this watch and you can't go wrong. wrong. Nice. All right, so I've got the watch right here. Give me your note, V. Let's go ahead and put it inside the trash can. Okay, all right, so this is gonna totally fool the hacker. He's gonna wear the watch. He's gonna come to our house and go zap. It's gonna be great. Hey, let's, okay, okay, let's, go, let's go hide. I think he's coming. Okay, the hacker. I think he's gonna find the treasure chest we, we put over there. He's got his flashlight on, he's looking around. Oh, I think he spotted it. Yeah? Yeah. He just tossed his note. He got it unlocked. Oh, wow. 
Yeah, he does know the Project Zorgo secret language. Yeah, he didn't even need the decoder. Oh, he's got it now. Now he's got the coordinates of where we left the Apple Watch. Okay, let's go hide over by the Apple Watch. Okay. Here we, here we go. Okay. Okay. Hide behind this bush right here. I think there he is. Yeah, he's following his phone's coordinates. He figured it out. Okay. He definitely figured out that it's a trash can. He's like, oh, this is a familiar place. Okay, he's, he's reaching into the trash can. Oh, oh he's, got, he's got it. He's got the note. Does he have the watch too? He does, he does. He got okay. the watch. Okay, he's reading the note. Yes, put it on. Yes, he's got the watch. Come on, put the watch on, dude. Put it on. Come on. Do it. Put, it on. put the watch on, dude. Is he doing it? Yes, he is. It. Yes. Yeah. He's running. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's going to our house, I bet. Okay, we gotta go back to your house right now. Let's go. You keeping up with him? There he goes. He's looking at his phone. He's I think he's checking the coordinates of our house. Let's go around to the back side of our house and come around to the front, okay? Okay, okay. Let's go. Okay, right here. Let's hide right here. Okay. Did you see him? You see, I see him. I see him. You see him? He's across the street. He's across the street. Oh, yeah. Let me see. Right here. There he is. Stay behind, hidden behind these bushes here. He is going to be in for a surprise. He's not going to know what he will but let's, let's get behind this bush a little bit. <gasps> Whoa! He's really got shocked. He's in a trunk. Oh, oh my gosh. This is hilarious. Oh my gosh. What a fool. Project Zergo. These guys are so silly. Oh, oh. He totally got. Yes, he's yes. running. Oh my gosh, you guys. Yeah, it totally, it totally worked. worked. I think I saw him drop something down here, though. I saw something come out of his pocket. Okay. Wait, what is that? Oh my gosh, it's a Project Zergo note. Whoa. Okay, a bunch of symbols, and it says Diamond Road. Whoa, let's see these symbols. Okay, Spy Ninjas, we are gonna need your help. If you have the decipher wheel, we need to help you to help us decode this. So pause this screen. If you have the decipher wheel, we're gonna need your help. It looks like it might be a place or a road we need to go to. Cool, nice. so it's like triangle, footprint, anger symbol, glasses, ear, ear magnifying, magnifying glass, glass, light, light bulb, bulb paper and clip. All right guys, if you have the decipher wheel, figure this out for us. Thank you so much to all you notification ninjas who show up whenever I post a brand new video. I'm showing your comments right here. Okay. Make sure to subscribe to me and subscribe to Chad and check out his video right here. Follow us on Instagram at thequaint and at chadwallclay and leave me a note if you figured this out and I will see you next time. Keep up!